it's it's quite small. It's probably quite smaller than I was expecting it to be. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we have my first ever, ever Fendi unboxing. And I suppose it's actually a double Fendi unboxing. There's one main item, one smaller item, but two items from Fendi. First ever, I am quite excited about it. Dale from Dale's Addiction, I blame quite a lot for piquing my interest with Fendi. She is the Fendi queen. She has some amazing Fendi pieces and Megan just got a beautiful red Fendi. And they all just made me start looking at, at Fendi. And poor little Amelia over here was, you know, pushed into it and none of it was her own fault and it was all the fault of the... Ah, yeah, I give over. None of us are buying any of that nonsense. You can't be left alone, young lady. Uh, young? Thanks. Okay, you can't be left alone. That was the point. Okay, yeah, okay, stop talking to yourself now. Right, okay, let's go. So, double Fendi unboxing. This is a true unboxing. I've just taken it out of the box. I haven't peeked. So, the first item is in this Fendi dust bag. And the first thing that makes me think whenever I lifted it out of the box and it's in this was it's actually quite small. Now, it's titled Mini. You would think that would give it away. You'd think I'd be used to mini bags by now. But um, it's, it's quite small. It's probably quite smaller than I was expecting it to be. But let's do this together. Let's have... Oh, yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I just fell for the print of this bag. It's just... Like, look at that. It's like coming brand new from the boutique. Look at... Look at her! Yes, that's what we're here to do, but I know, look at her, look at the print. I have never actually seen the Fendi Zucker print before. Um, I've never really been too interested in Fendi until Deal kept me going with Fendi. And this bag I actually bought from Fashionably Amy, whenever Fashionably Amy did her recent vlog sale. I had seen this bag on Amy's channel. If any of you have watched me before, you'll know that there are a few of my bags or if you've watched my um, influenced handbag collection video, you'll know that I was influenced by Amy on a few of my bags. I really like her style. Generally, a lot of the bags that she buys, I find that I really, really like as well. And we ended up with her having me being influenced some of her bags. And the, oh, you can't see it in the background. There's a graffiti Chanel somewhere in there. Um, she did have that tweed at one point. She has the Chanel 19. We ended up with a few bags that were the same. I also like, I like things that are a bit different and have a bit of a print to them and have maybe like a tweed pattern or a color or something that's just that bit different. And I probably shy away from, although I have a few, but I generally don't get drawn to completely plain bags that much unless there's something about the color. So this, whenever I saw this on Amy's channel with the red print, I just absolutely loved it. I did go looking for it. I will uh, link a blog, some blog, vlog, link a vlog somewhere where I did go looking for this in Fendi, but I could only find it in the green print and I didn't like the it green. It was the red that really caught my attention. So I um, had, oh look, isn't she fab? Isn't she? I just think she's me. So whenever Amy was sending or was selling this bag and it was on her vlog sale, I sent a picture of this to Dale and was like, I'm really, really interested in this. And she was not helping. Mm. But she was saying, yeah, that bag is you. And I think it is. I really think it is with the print, even though Fendi's not um, a designer that I would normally have looked at. But if you look at these, I love this detail with the F in here. I really love this embossing of the Fendi Zuka print. I love that it's red. Um, and this from Amy, it is, I, I know I've just opened it, so it's not as if I have done a huge thorough investigation of this bag, but it generally looks like it is absolutely brand new. It looks like it's never even been worn. Like she's kept all of the packaging and it says in here, Fendi Roma. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Um, this, I believe, this little strap is detachable and it then has this longer crossbody strap, which obviously for me and my love of crossbody bags is kind of essential. Crossbody strap then attaches on here, but you can keep the little top handle on as well. That kind of reminds me of the Chanel 
bucket bag that's in there somewhere that you have um, both of the straps and then this beautiful crossbody strap and the inside feels like kind of like a suede or a microfiber and it says Fendi made in Italy. It's just one space inside. This is the Fendi mini Tresor bucket bag. Mini for me is what works. I generally will always go for the small or the mini and then in here Amy has actually kept, she looks after her stuff so well, she has actually kept um, all of the tags so it you're really getting it as if it's coming from the boutique. So that is the first thing. I'm going to try it on. Um, I've only just opened it so I haven't even seen it myself. So I'm going to try it on and I will give you um, a look to see what it looks like on me crossbody and also what it looks like handheld. And then as well, whenever I bought this from Amy, she also popped this in. Now, I think this was really kind and sweet. Firstly, because of what she's included. Secondly, because I've never bought from Fendi before, I'm actually, and I know it's only packaging, but I'm really happy that she put in the yellow Fendi um, <laughs> carrier bag because I've never had one. And I just, I just like the packaging and I know, I know, I know. And what Amy has sent with it are the Fendi Zucca print socks as well, which I think are quite cool. I am just going to, oh God, have I wedding rings? I do have my rings on. Oh, they feel quite thick. It feels like quite a thick material. And then it has the Fendi Zucca print coming right down them. So I think if I can figure out um, a shoe, oh, maybe my Chanel um, black and white Mary Janes. Oh, I think that could work. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna be trying them on with some different shoes and some different outfits to see what they're gonna go with. Um, I think they could be quite funky though. Um, I'm trying to be a trendy person with these socks, but I'm going to try and give it a go and see what that goes like. So I'm going to go now and try this on. I'll take it with, I'll take you with me, sorry, show you what it looks like and um, we'll try it cross body. So this is her handheld. I think she is so cute. And if anybody's wondering about the state of my shirt or you catch other labels hanging anywhere, the shirt and the jeans are new as well. So I thought whenever I was getting five minutes with no children here to unbox this, that I would try these on as well, just for myself to see what they look like on. And if anybody has a good steamer recommendation, state of this, would you please leave that for me in the comment box? I need to desperately get a steamer. Um, I think she looks really good. And those are the Chanel boots that I have on with um, these jeans that I bought from the 21P collection. And I think they go really, really well with this little cutie. I'm actually a wee bit obsessed with this. I think it is really, really cute. And I really like the handheld version like this. Her cross body. This handle is detachable. I don't know if when I'm wearing her crossbody, if I would keep that handle on or not. I'm going to have to take that off and just have a play about and see. I think maybe without that. Let me see. If we very, um, I don't recommend that you squish your bags quite like that. But if we just get a quick look. <laughs> yeah, I think the look without the handle might actually work. Um, but anyway, I really really like the actual bag crossbody i'm just not sure about whether or not i would keep the top handle on whenever i was wearing her like that but i think that's a really easy cool look i just really yeah i really like it i really like the f the red print what do you guys think with or without this handle and please don't forget to leave me your steamer recommendations so there we go, that is my Fendi unboxing. This is this little cutie that has now joined the bag family. Oh, I'm looking at the creases on this. <laughs> it has only literally just come out of its packaging. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here. I hope you'll have enjoyed this. I hope you like this little Fendi baby. Please take care and I'll see you again in the next one.